and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII, where I am definitely not about to get the Sector Five key. So I'm just going to have to keep on digging until I find it. Let's go, start digging, looking for good treasure. Alright. We're just gonna put some staff around. Honestly, it's not too terribly difficult to figure out where they are pointing to when I have a chart showing exactly where the treasures are. There are three treasure spots, I believe, where I could potentially find the key uh, to Sector 5. So, where are you all pointing? God. Come on, you're all... It's, it's the exact same spot again. I'm just gonna keep going till I find it. Okay, this should be the spot. Excellent. Whew. Yes, okay, I have the key to Sector 5. Now I can go back to Sector 5 when I feel like it and pick up a few uh, random items. I don't think... Well, there, there's, a, there's a couple things there worth getting. Um... But there's something there that you have to pay a bunch of money for to get, and I do not actually have uh, enough to get it right now. Uh, instead, what I am going to do... is take on Ultimate Weapon. Hello, Ultimate Weapon. Oh. Crap. Um. Okay, no. I can't kill him right now. I very specifically don't want to kill him. The person who does uh, the killing blow to this uh, weapon gets hit with Shadow Flare. Yeah, Cloud, need your hand, need a hand here. You jerk. Okay. Alright, this guy's got a crap load of health, but he also eventually runs away. So I specifically don't want to kill him right now. That's important. Uh, actually, now I'm thinking about it. Isn't the last time that you fight him, like, when he's below a certain amount of HP, a guaranteed fixed location? I think it is. Yeah, I, I, I think it was actually kind of stupid for me to not do as much damage as possible. But, uh, I do want Shadow Laser. Yuki's got one enemy skill materia. Um, cover is fine, but I don't want counter attack. 
but Yuffie is going to get all of the enemy skill materia, and she will be the one to deliver the final blow. Uh, I never did learn bio. Okay. Alright, I, 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 I think I got it right. Hello! Nope, I'm, I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. You can't stop me, because I'm gonna get you. Nope. Get back here. Nope, nope, I'm, I'm just gonna keep ramming you. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you, you little jerk. Aha! I think this is what I'm supposed to do. I think. I am, I am moderately certain. All right. So one night of the round should either kill it or make it go to its last location. And just in case the fight isn't over after this attack, Cloud can drop a cure for it. And let's get the animation. Take off? Yep, there he goes. <laughs> he took that like a champ, but he's decided to nope the hell out. Can't say I blame him, honestly. Okay, so that should put him at his final location. Yeah, outside of Cosmo. Drop attempt. I don't want to mess this up. I really want to learn Shadow Flare. Well, I really want to learn all the enemy skills. It really has nothing to do about them ever being, for the most part, useful. But hey, it's a thing to collect, and I want to collect it. So, hello, sir. going to like this. Alright, I've learned your trick. You like to start with... Ah. You didn't actually start with an Ultima Beam this time. Alright, Yuffie should be able to survive whatever counterattack comes this way. Alright, Ultimate Weapon. Do your Shadow play. Come on, Yuffie, you can tank this. I think you have to survive it to work. this. Or, or not. I mean, you're dead, but... It did say learn Shadow Flare, so I will take it and be grateful. That is a lot of money. And that is the ultimate weapon for Cloud. And now he falls, making it possible to reach uh, this area of forest. It was actually possible for me to reach it before uh, if I used a if I used the uh, the golden chocobo, uh, but I didn't. But I did get Cloud's ultimate weapon. But again, like the other ultimate weapons, it doesn't actually offer any 
uh, materia growth. Okay. So, the ancient forest, we're going to get to that in a moment. But first, uh, now that I have enough money to do this, I am going to head into the uh, Sector 5 slums. And I'm going to take Tifa with me. I don't think I strictly have to have her for what I'm doing here. But I also might. And, you know, best to be thorough. Aw, oh, remember when we enjoyed fighting these guys? And they gave us the magic missile. One of our very first, maybe the first enemy skills. Remember how insanely powerful we were for a while with our magic missiles? <sighs> that was fun, wasn't it? Okay, Sector 5 Slums. So, things to do here. Um... I also want... Sid... Uh, in the party too. Okay. According to this. Yeah, I'm, I'm just at the part of the game where I'm just unapologetically referencing guides directly now. I mean, I'm trying to get 100%. You gotta checklist things. It's funny, did I drop the key to this gate somewhere? Was it when I was on that excavation tour? Yeah, probably. I would have let you in, but... Eh, screw it. Hey, look, it's Aerith. Well, Aerith is gone now. Where's the flower lady? Oh, she died. She she was brutally stabbed through the chest. It was very tragic. Oh, yes. Random encounters in Midgar. Oh, right, I did not, I did not actually check to make absolutely certain uh, that the enemy skill materia did in fact learn Shadow Flare. That's kind of important. Uh, Yuffie, why don't we take off your four enemy skills? Just to check that, I would absolutely hate for me to have missed one of those. Okay. Uh, Shadow Flare, Shadow Flare, Shadow Flare, Shadow Flare. Alright, they all have Shadow Flare. And these three are identical. Now this one is missing Magic Breath and Bad Breath, which I can pick up in the Northern Crater. And then all the remaining enemy skills are also in the Northern Crater. I do think it's really unfortunate how many of these things were... Um, were, were basically just stuck in, like, one spot. I, I really don't like that, to be honest. Okay, so... Uh, someone I can talk to will uh, offer to sell me an item for a very expensive amount. I just need to find him because I don't quite remember where they are. The trick to being a real man is not to fart around. Okay. 
Sorry, my eyes immediately picked the word fart out of that sentence, and I had to see what he said in order to confirm that he had in fact said fart. Okay. Uh, not you. Not you. And... Alright, I guess it's further up here. Nope. Uh, hi, Aerith's mom. Um, Aerith died. Just thought you should know. Oh, you're not home. Okay, um, I'll leave a note, you know, for when you get back. So, I was just in the wrong part of the slums, then. Guess I'm doing this again. Oh, enemy encounters. You are absolutely adorable at this point. What I would not give for some escape magic right now. I don't think the exit spell is something you can use in a dungeon to get out. But I've also actually never explicitly checked on that. I should probably check on that. Uh, who, who has it right now? I think Yuffie has... No, Red has it. Okay. Or... Restore, Destruct, Seal, Comet, Poison, Full Cure, Contain... Oh my god, it was on Cloud already. Uh, no. Alright, well, I, I have learned that I need to be more thorough in challenging my assumptions with this game. Okay, these are the Sector 5 slums. Alright, so first I need that thing that had the machine gun. Huh? Let me see that. It should work now. Go ahead, try to use it. Sid, what did you do? Don't get mad. You just get wrinkles. Hey, something's coming out. Received the premium heart. Tifa's ultimate weapon has been acquired. Perfect. Okay, next things. Uh, it's right side of the slums. Ah, damn it. The Turtles Paradise Flyer I was looking for actually is in the uh, in the other section of the slums. Ugh, damn it! I don't suppose this guide has a reference picture for. Okay, it, it's it's in the shop. Uh, not that shop. Nope, not there. Maybe here? Nope, not there either. 
somewhere in these slums is a guy who will sell me a thing that I no longer need for a crap load of money that I do not have. And I am going to find it. Because I want it. There we go. Whoop. No, it's this guy. Got something good for you. Why don't you buy it? You probably just found it lying around somewhere, right? I'll admit that I found it, but you may never be able to get another one like it again. About 129,000 gil for it. What kind of price is that? All right, I'll buy it. And it's a sneak glove. It increases your chances of stealing when you steal. All right, uh, so I'm going to go find the flyer. Turtles Paradise News, number one. For delicious wine with a nice ring to it, stop on by the Turtles Paradise. Okay, and we're done here. We never have to come back to this terrible place ever again, except for the next mandatory story mission, which is also going to be necessary to get the last of the uh, Turtle News. But for right now, we are done with Midgar. My next objective is the Ancient Forest. And that should be pretty fun. Uh, since I have Red and Yuffie already equipped and materialed out, I'm just going to bring them along for the sake of simplicity. Come on, you two. Alright. Uh, gonna swap on a couple things. You get an enemy skill. You get an enemy skill. And then you can also have... I don't know. A couple... random materials. We're gonna be fine. No trouble at all. So, there's actually a lot of stuff to get in the Ancient Forest. Uh, there's a, another uh, Summon Materia to get. Uh, there is also... Um, one of the more important weapons to find. Sorry, just clearing out my list of check marks here. All right, ancient forest. Here we go. I'm basically going out of the way to collect all this stuff right now, um, so that after this episode's recording. Uh, I can dedicate my time to doing a lot of grinding. Uh, Ruby Weapon has spawned. Definitely don't want to deal with that. What is the, the fastest way to access those? Well, the fastest way to get there is to, you know, take a golden chocobo, but... Uh, we have the ultimate weapon, so that's going to be good for the battle square. Um, I've got... Uh, almost the best stuff in the game for the purposes of materia farming. And very soon... Because the best, wipe, the best weapon in the game for materia farming is in the ancient forest, so that's exciting. I still stand by my absurdist goal of 100%. Okay, how do I actually get up there? Where is it? Okay, it's up there. South. Okay, so 
Small item bag inside a large flower. Be careful not to walk into the center of the flower or it will eat you. Press the X button repeatedly as you walk across the flower so you can pick up the item bag as soon as you can without venturing too far in the middle. Okay. There are three bouncing insects in this area and one bouncing frog. Press the X button near one of the insects and you'll get a quick explanation about how insects and frogs work in the ancient forest. Oh dear god. You can release frogs, uh, insects and frogs by pressing the OK button. The direction... OK. So, the first thing is the flower. So what kind of enemies do we got here in the ancient forest? And do they die to a single beta? Actually, let's have Yuffie try a beta. Yuffie's got the most magic stab right now. Do what you can, girl. Hmm. That did not affect you at all, Dion. Hello? By the way, that thing on your neck, you should probably get that checked out, Diablo. That doesn't look healthy. Just a bit of friendly advice from the man who just murdered you. Okay. Okay. I got the first item. So, use the square button, so pick up the three bouncing bugs and bring them to the right side of the screen near the blue pitcher flowers. The plants will eventually eat the bugs. So you have to be fast getting all three bugs into the flowers. Okay. All right, I, I see how this works. I can only carry one insect at a time. Oh, hey, I haven't seen an enemy that looks like this in a while. Hey, do you guys like beta? It's my favorite spell. Let me show it to you. Yeah, it basically roasts you from the inside out. God, these things are dying to less than 3,000 damage. I am... So ludicrously overpowered here. Okay. So I grab a bug. I release a bug. Your plant is supposed. To... Oh. Okay. All right. Got it. I see how this works. No, no. And we're cross. Okay. Second screen. Uh. There's a... Uh, Alright. So that is a spring gun clip. Which is a major increase in power for red. Here, have two more absolutely random... Uh, materia. Still never got around to learning fire three off of that third fire materia. Don't even actually remember when I got a third fire. Alright, what about an Aqualon? Is Aqualon enough to defeat you all? Did you just hit me with the leaves? Why? 
Okay, Aqua Lung doesn't kill Diablo, but it does hurt him. So, I can assume Diablo less than 6,000 HP. That doesn't sound particularly oppressive. Yeah, I'm following the guide with absolute precision for this one, because I remember not having a fun time here years ago. Uh, grab the insect at the entrance of the screen and continue to the right until you reach a large piece of flower hanging down. The screen will prompt you to either jump or stay. Choose jump, jump to the next level, and then put the insect... Okay. Jump across the flowers to reach the other side. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Who wants to fight me now? Ah, just more of them. That's okay. You guys died of beta anyway. Yuffie, make us some roast chicken, please. Thank you, Yuffie. Much appreciated. Jump, jump. Alright, now that I'm across... Jump across the flowers, reach the other side, grab the bouncing frog to the right of the flower. Continue to the right until you have two more open flowers and place the frog inside the blue flower on the left. Have Cloud jump onto the flower and wait until the frog bursts out. Okay, this will launch Cloud up to the red platform with the gray beehive item. Okay. So, we put the frog into the flower on the left. Sounds simple enough. Please stop fighting me. I find it very annoying. Okay, contain leveled up. I think that unlocks Flare, doesn't it? Uh, yes, now I have... I mean, I showed off Freeze. I should show off Break Tornado and Flare as well. Okay, so... And we wait. Go, Frog! There you go. Okay. So now I have this. Pick up the beehive, jump off the bed. As you approach the red flower, uh, press the X button when you are near it to have Cloud throw the beehive into it. Okay. Ow. Oh. Did you mean this one? Ow. What the hell, man? I mean, I- I am pressing everything. And it is not working. Come on. God 
that hurts so badly. Okay, is there just a really... Oh, okay, I, I had set it down. There we go, okay. There's the slash all materia. That's a super important one. Ooh. Oh yeah. Now Cloud can attack all their opponents. Okay, so I can already interpret what I'm doing here, and it's effectively doing the same thing, but with the pitcher plant on the right. I'm guessing. Whoops, I select attack and not slash all. Good job, me. Yeah, that guy is really not that scary. side screen, the item bag you can see on the trunk cannot be obtained just yet. Continue to the right to find the next screen. Okay. Understood. There are two bouncing insects close by which you will need to throw into the blue flowers again. Remember it's easier if you grab the furthest away insect first. Put both of the insects into the flowers and hop across. Okay. Sounds simple enough. Go, little bug! Cloud, why don't you show off your new move? Slash all. Oh, it just replaces attack with slash all. Uh, Yuffie, that thing looks like a bird that might appreciate a tornado. I don't think it appreciated the tornado. Okay, we have just mastered a restore materia. That is awesome. Okay. So now I'm up here. Walk left and follow the trunk of the tree, which will take you down to grab the... Uh, Minerva Band. You'll have to use the frog to get back to the third screen again. Okay. Totally fair. Not a problem. So how good is this Minerva Band? I'm genuinely curious. Uh, a women's armlet that completely nullifies fire, cold, gravity, and holy. Okay, so it does... Fire and ice, light and dark. Pretty cool. Go back up to the treetops. Okay. Sounds easy enough. Don't worry, creatures of the forest. I am here to feed you bugs. And all other kinds of strange things. Uh, this time head upward and follow the branch around to the left and then over to the right side of the screen. Okay. Over to the right side of the screen. Rather than heading downwards toward the exit at the bottom, follow the pathway leading upwards towards the broken branch. Okay. And that takes us over here. 
And I think I know what we are about to find. Get him, Cloud. Yuffie, it's time to show off another awesome move. Oh, hey, we actually learned Mug at some point. And here is Final Fantasy VII's version of Flare. It did nothing. Huh, normally Flare's non-elemental. Yep, here it's Fire. Well, may maybe Break will work better. Yeah, yeah, I'd, I'd say that dropping a giant freaking rock on its head was substantially more effective. Do these things have high evasion, or is that a problem from the slash all being less accurate? No, they actually do seem pretty evasive. Uh, Cloud, flamethrower three points. This guy's not even worthy of a beta. Actually, you're being kind of annoying. Red, would you mind with fire tea, please? There we go. Man, Red, you have a ludicrous amount of it. Yep. That is the Typhon Materia. Typhoon! Summons Typhoon. Alright, excellent. Uh, travel to the top branch, jump back over to the Broken Ranch, and take the exit on the bottom of the screen. Okay. Simple enough. So, next fight we have something new to show off. Another fantastic summon. How do I... There. Alright, next screen. Grab one of the insects on the right side of the screen and throw it into the cauldron furthest to the right. Jump onto the flower and press the directional pad to have Cloud jump onto the next one. Then up to the red platform with the beehive. Okay. So... Throw it into the one furthest. Alright, now we have the beehive. Grab the beehive and toss it into the flower. Pick up another insect, okay? That is not fair, I was not standing on you. There, okay. Insight and place it into the blue flower just to the left of the red flower you threw the beehive into. Okay. Uh, Cloud, actually, would you mind letting us all recover real quick? I would appreciate that. And Yuki, if you could just bold cure on Cloud, since that's probably going to take a minute. And there's our look at the spell uh, full cure. Absolutely beautiful. Alright, beta time. Poison leveled up. I finally get Bio 3. So. How. How do I get. Uh, oh. Oh, okay. I walked past you that way. Got it. There are just too many of you. Can we 
we just aqua lung and be done with it? Thank you. Not a lot of enemy variety in the forest. X potion though, that's a damn good drop. Okay. Cross. And now we put another insect. Grab another insect, place it in the opening, in front of the opening to the tree to make a uh, frog appear. Cool. Typhoon, it is fire, ice, lightning, earth, magic damage. Um, this might actually do nothing. Good old Mr. Typhoon is back from FF6. And he has two heads. And it did nothing. Alright, Cloud. We can't have this guy going and telling people that we suck at our summons, so uh, make sure he can't tell me. Thanks, Cloud. As always, we rely on your incredible ability to murder people. Okay, so in front of the tree gets me a frog. Now grab the other insect and place it into the blue power to the right so you can jump across, but grab the frog and take it with you. That's the sneaky bit. Okay. So, place it into... Okay, I think it means specifically here, going back to the right side of the screen. Alright, let's go, Frog. Which, theoretically, is going to let this jump us across. Yep. This is what I was waiting for. We have reached the end. Hey, a new enemy group. Oh, isn't that nice? Here. Have an aqua on. You can use the bubbles. Bubbles, 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 bubbles. Many a foe has been slain by the wrath of Bubbles. Uh, okay, that is the elixir. But there's another chest down here. No! Just let me get the damn chest! That's all I want! I just want to get the damn chest! You are so annoying! Good work, Red. Beautiful. Nice, clean kill. And that is the apocalypse. This was the real prize. 88 damage, but triple, triple 
Materia Growth. Absolutely the best weapon in the game for Materia farming. There is, I think, exactly one more optional area to reach underwater. But that's going to have to wait until the next one.